The other one, of course, is another request, is across Africa, the resumption of KQ to this country and elsewhere. It is true that is what should happen, but I must be very honest with you to tell you that we have challenges with, K with KQ, very serious challenges, financial. KQ is hardly able to meet its operating expenses, and there are serious discussions on possible reforms to get KQ back on track. I must tell you, the problem of KQ is what we have said. KQ is on its deathbed because of what you call state capture. KQ was captured by those in power and loaded a lot of contracts that are untenable. They forced them to lease aircrafts at costs that are not possible to meet with the income. So it's a major, it's a, it's a serious thing on how to unlock the whole thing. And those contracts were also done in a way that getting out of them is quite problematic. I think the state capture fellows were very clever. They did it in a way that even if there's a change of government, to get out of those contracts, the penalties are ex extremely heavy. But I can assure you that the government is well sized of the matter and the need to get KQ back on track as the pride of Africa and as our national pride. And the way Balozi has said is true, for every 10 passengers there is a job created. So I can tell you that we are, the government is well sized of the matter and a lot is going on behind the scenes. And shortly, KQ will be back on track. And when that happens, this destination will be given priority.